Today's big task, all right, you know what? Before I talk about today's big task, which is the mower, I was gonna talk about the paramotoring thing. And uh, what's paramotoring? What's paramotoring? What have I been talking about oh, now? Oh, that. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> I thought we were talking about this. Uh-huh, she needed contact. Are you trying to push this? Yeah. That's really a woody job, and the emergency brake is on. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. Oh, paramotoring. Yeah, so uh, if you don't know what that is, you probably know what a paraglider is. It's like a hang glider, but instead of like the firm triangle, it's that like um, parachute arch thing. Paramotoring is like that, except that you have a, a motor, like a fan strapped to your back, and you can take off from anywhere. You could take and off. And you have a like parasailing yeah. thing. Yeah, it's it, not, um, is it like stationary or is it like metal and... No, it's all cloth. So you're going to like try to fly a kite with a fan on the back. Exactly. It's mostly all cloth. There's little like um, plastic that keeps the baffles open, but that's not... I think they did that in olden times with Orville <laughs> and Wilbur Wright. So, so come over here. Uh, this camera's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the camera's heavy. <laughs> He's like upside down. I have to try to videotape him. Not even video. <laughs> Record him. Okay. Like, yes. Okay. So, Jackie said I couldn't have a paramotor. I put my foot down. And I did not accept that. No, you overrode me. So she said me. no again. And I said no again. And I did not accept that. And I just kept pushing and pushing. And finally, she grudgingly accepted defeat. I don't know if I'd say she whoa, said whoa, yes. Whoa, whoa. I said, give it some time, go try it out, and get back to me. Yeah, that's where we are. I'm going to take like a training course and, and see what's up. So, uh, um, no good can come of this. I, I, I'm pretty excited. Like, you have to, you guys know my yard. Like, for something like a paraglider, I could literally just go out there and fly away. Like, this is human flight. You want to <laughs> fly away? <laughs> oh, stop. I, I, uh, to me, Someone's like, got a fight club going on Jackie, right here. Jackie, <laughs> yeah, right? A dog's fight club over there. Um, the, like, Jackie's like, you just started talking about this. Try and stay close. <laughs> Sorry. And, and, and that's not true. Like, when I first, I, when we were, before we closed on the house, uh, at the time, I was thinking ultralight, which okay. is like the hang glider equivalent yes. of a paramotor. Um, and I was like, yeah, I want to like launch something. It, all the way back from when we bought the Apex house, like 17 years ago. Oh, remember, you're pulling up crap from 18 years remember ago. Remember the real estate agent was talking about this other house he sold to a guy, and that guy had like a landing strip. And Anyway, I, I do. I remember 18 years The idea ago. of flying away from my house has been in my head for a lo lifelong dream, really. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you a shirt that says my I'm really Homer Simpson. It's always been my lifelong dream to do blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be a snowplow man. So anyway, Mr. Plow. Mr. Plow. So uh, I think we need to fix this mower. Um, but I also think that creeping into these vlogs will be a little bit of human flight. And who doesn't like that? <laughs> Jackie. I don't. All right, step one. I'm gonna push this thing in a little bit, I hope, where there's better light. Oh, come on. That was so easy. You tricked me. How do you know how easy it is? Because I can see you're not even breaking a sweat. <laughs> a few more feet and I think I would. Okay. All right. Now come around to the back. Sweetheart. You sabotaged me. I did. <laughs> you know, you put the e-brake on things when you leave them. So this thing's got this big Caterpillar engine and there's a belt that goes around this pump and this thing and it drives these two motors. Uh, are you getting both motors? Sorry. It's okay. And I'm not in close, I guess. It broke once before and we might need to figure out why it's breaking. I see it, it there's all this belt residue here which concerns me. Um, I mean, we definitely need to string it up again. And, well, all right. Yeah, I think I need to get my computer because I swear I took a picture of all of this. Oh. And for next time. All right. So oh, this is a bit of a struggle. Uh, we did clean it up and discover this um, 
diagram that shows how the belt goes. But it does not match. Yeah, the problem is that thing doesn't match real life. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five things there, and there's only four on here. And that... Because <laughs> uh, it's a problem. Yeah. I, I, it's curiously difficult to figure these things out. I do remember last time, I felt like we had to remove this belt to get the new one on. And it looks like Jackie's trying to avoid that this time. We'll keep playing with it and see what we get. I'm gonna turn this thing. Okay, we figured out the routing, we think. It's super tricky because all the diagrams don't have this one and we need it. Let me uh, turn. I don't think we need it. I think it's for something else. So I'm gonna turn the mic around so you guys can better hear me. <laughs> I'm doing most of the talking anyway. So, but to do it, we need to get this belt like to be not a problem anymore. And we're not exactly sure how to accomplish that. But the first thing we're gonna do is try to take it off of these pulleys down here. You can see them, there's one there and there's one there. So for that, I'm gonna put my foot on the belt tensioner. Do you see that spring under the seat? It's right around there. Let me see if I can zoom in. That spring right there. That's how I knew that was the tensioning guy. So all I need to do is put my foot on it. All right, it should be loose. Did you get it? Not yet. All right, get your fingers clear. I'm gonna get a new grip. Okay. I got one. I got two. All right. Oh. All right. Now with these sort of clear-ish, we'll see if that helps. So here's what we think we know. Um, this belt drives the mower blade and it's in the way. So I wanna get this completely out of the way and that involves removing this bracket. So I'm gonna give that a go and see where we are after that. So I've been looking at this for a long time. Uh, Jackie went and she got Colin. <sighs> you know, usually throughout my day, I walk around feeling like a pretty smart guy. Like I'm not all hung up on my intelligence and for good reason. I think there's a lot of people smarter than me, but I mostly feel like I'm pretty smart. Maybe you do too. This feels like an IQ test that I'm failing. I, I'm, it just seems, there are like some basic rules. You can tell by the profile of this guy, this guy, and this guy, that the belt, see the belt has like a V side and a flat side, and the V goes in those. Now, this guy and this guy I'm pretty sure I have a profile that make it flat. So while it runs in that guy, the flat side of the belt would run on that guy, like that. Wait, is this it? No. I need to keep thinking. I thought I had it. Um, it seems so close, right? Like some of the other like rules that we're talking about when it's a V side, like when it goes in these, this is going to need a good grip. You typically want it to have like a grip around most of the belt. So for example, if this came up around here, then that would have you know, by comparison a weaker grip because it would only be touching from like here to here, right? Whereas if you're going under that, then it touches all the way around the circle. Here's a better example. Over here, this thing's touching a full half of the circle. So that's a good strong grip. Everything seemed right, except when I put the tensioner on, 
I, this is at full tension. It, it can't get any tighter than that. This spring is supposed to be pulling this thing. This is touching this. That's not right. And it's still loose. So I'm close, but this isn't it. All right. We think we're close. We might not be though. You, you change your mind on that? Oh no, no, I just don't know. I don't want to get. I don't want to get cocky. <laughs> don't get cocky, kid. Okay, so I need. That be pushing it that way would give you all I can give you. Come on, give me more. You know. That's quitter talk. You want faster? I can give you faster. You want harder? I can give you harder. You want deeper? <laughs> you better be talking about philosophy. <laughs> Uh, wait a second. I think I have an idea. You're gonna be able to give me more? <laughs> yeah, I think if I spin this, I can swear there. Some kind of ah, oh, got it. All right, that looks good. So then, this, you're amazing. <laughs> it's funny. While you weren't here, I was like, I feel like this is an IQ test that I'm failing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come around. And uh, looks like we got it. I'm having a hard time. Getting in the hole? <laughs> the innuen innuen innuendos are just all over the place. Uh, let me tap tap. Why don't you twist the wrench and you move it? It's the same tension. I... Are you sure? Yeah. yeah but... All right, we're going to take this off camera. <laughs> But I think we got the, the routing. All right. So the primer emission, getting this belt back on, I think is accomplished. Now we just need to tension it. And it's pretty close already to, to tell you the truth. But the thing is, um, we have to get the, the belt on that goes, that does the mower blades. And then, we have a collection of parts at the bottom. They probably go places too. So we got to figure this out. But really, we are pretty successful. Yeah. All right, progress. So I'm doing my best to capture this. We, we just started putting everything back together. All we have is this bolt and this electrical harness. And Jackie, try to fit the bolt in so we can... <laughs> okay. A new tool enters the fray. That bolt, if you can see it, is supposed to go up flush against that orange bracket. Okay. Do you want to switch spots, sweetheart? I'll give it a try. Are you uh, determined? I am determined, but I All right. think we should loosen this one. Because I think it might help if you like, have this one loosened. Okay. Did it seat in there properly? Not yet. Oh, I was all excited. It will. There you go. Nice. But yeah, keep your finger on the back so that it doesn't go. No, but it won't fit on. Oh, maybe it will. Good job. Not my first rodeo. I thought you were going to forget to flip the switch on the ratchet wrench. Uh, you might have. <laughs> or maybe I flipped it back with my. While you were working on it? Yeah. See if I can get a better angle. Just trying to film the back before. Stay on there. It's times like this that I appreciate Jackie the most. Like, 
I don't know, I appreciate all the things she does, but I feel like this is 1% stuff. This is stuff that not every wife will help you with. And uh, I operate so much better when I have company. We, we, we even call it a company job around the house. All you gotta do is stand next to me. <laughs> Keep me happy. That's it, go ahead, you want me to do it or you wanna? Here, let's switch. Oh, yeah, here, hold this. I thought you were gonna say that I have, you know, some special talent in figuring this stuff out. You do? You like well, I didn't hear that. I just heard I have a company job and I can work a, what is this one? Uh, that's a ratchet wrench. A ratchet wrench. I don't know what these things are called, but well, I know what a hammer is. Okay, let's put this on a little, back up a touch. We're about to start this baby. Oh, God. Yeah, right? Okay. Should I be wearing protective goggles or something? Probably. Okay, my hands are full. I'm a lot. You know the mic is pointed towards me. We'll say something witty. I'm going to have to whisper into it. <laughs> be all breathy. All right. Can you can do it. Mission accomplished. Yes. So you were... I texted my mom and said that I was fixing the mower. And she said, uh, now you're in the mower repair business, daddy would be proud. How nice. Yes. Yeah. Oh, On our way back? Let's go. So, so you know, yeah. when I let the kids drive, it's always like, ooh, I drive? When, I, <laughs> when Jackie drives, I don't think she's excited that, like, she gets a chance to drive. No. No. <laughs> I drive drives all the time but we'll let her park without you guys judging her <laughs> so we just finished painkiller already it's 12 30 at night and it's time for me to render that and edit this but I want to talk about PKA I feel like it's a little uh, inside info um, our guest was a guy named Damon uh, he does food reviews and I didn't follow him like I it's like I didn't really know his stuff, but he had some videos that were really viral and I had seen those before. And so I, like, I knew him a little bit and I, I, I hope he doesn't take this the wrong way. Before we met him, we were all like, huh, like I wonder how he's gonna do. Like this guy's thing is eating food and telling you what he thinks. What can he have to offer? He was great. He was really great. After the show, he sent me a, a Skype contact request and I was like, whew. This is awesome! Like, he wants to be on my Skype list. He, there were points where he was the best host on the show. Like, he was asking questions to us, he was, you know, like controlling the flow of the show. He, top 10% guest. Um, I hope that we have, after the show, like, we, we praised him uh, the very, like, last, whatever, 30 seconds of the show. And then we hung up, and I was like, dude, no joke. You were fantastic. I'd love to have you on again. And he said that he would love to be on again. And uh, I feel like you know, we have a new friend to the show. And um, he just was the bomb. So um, even if you don't watch Painkiller already, and I think a lot of people that watch these do, uh, click on the, his link in the description because I feel like he's, he's got a special vibe. He's got it, right? Like if you're in Hollywood, some people have this it factor where they like own the stage. He has it. And... Um, uh, I don't know. I'm grateful to know him. I guess that's that. This sounds really over the top, but uh, 
maybe I'm deliriously tired. <laughs> but um, uh, anyway, I feel good about the PKA that we'll be putting up this weekend. And I hope you guys like this vlog. I hope I edit together all that mowing stuff or fixing stuff with Jackie and I to be something fun to watch. So um, yeah, I upload these Monday through Friday and then Saturday is painkiller already. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Click like, all that fun stuff.